Dear students, I welcome on behalf of Amity Institute of Organic Agriculture. We have completed our introduction module that was module first. Today we will be starting module second that is anatomy, anatomy of insects. Under the anatomy of insects in the theory class, today we will be discussing digesting system of insects. In previous classes, we have studied about morphology, insect legs, insect mouth, insect head, antenna, legs, wings, all this external morphology. And so today we will be uh, discussing a new chapter that is digestive system of insects that is more related to anatomy. So the digestive system of insects looks like a tube like a structure running from mouth to the anus. That region is also called foregut or astromodium. The primary function of the foregut begins the breakdown of food materials and it passes to the midgut or mesenteron. The mid gut is also called mesenteron and the hind gut is called proctodium which is consists of ileum, colon, rectum and rectal pads. The hind gut functions in water and solute reabsorption and waste excretion. So these are the function for gut. They are ectodermal in origin. They are also called astromodium. Internal in the foregut, there is an internal cuticular lining. Terminal mouth parts leads into a preoral cavity. Preoral cavity between epipharynx and hypopharynx is called Siberium. The preoral cavity between hypopharynx and salivary duct is called Salivarium. A well musculated organ that is called pharynx which is present to push the food into also phagus. Pharynx act as a sucking pump in feed soup in sap feeders. Sap feeders are insects in which pharynx act as sucking pump. Crop. Crop is the dilated distant part of oesophagus acting as food reservoir. In bees, crop is called as honey stomach. Gizzard is the posterior part of foregut and is masculated. The internal cuticle of gizzard is modified as three types. Number one is teeth like structure that is found in cockroach. Number two is plate like structure they are found in honeybee and a spine like structure they are found in fleas. Now second one is called midgut. They are endodermal in origin. Foregut were exodermal and midgut are endodermal in origin. They are also called mesenteron. There are midgut have different type of epithelial cells. They are sensory cells, globate cells, regenerative cells which replaces secretory cells. Periotrophic membrane, internal lining of midgut, secreted by anterior or entire layer of midgut epithelial cells. Present in solid feeders and absent in sap feeders. They are peritrophic membrane. 
which are present in solid feeders and absent in sap feeders. Sap means liquid. Semi permeable in nature, this membrane that is peritropic membrane, they are semi permeable in nature. Gastric cica, enteric cica plus hepatic cica. They look like finger like outgrowth found in anterior and posterior end of the midgut. Pyloric valve. It is also called proctodial valve. Midgut opens into hindgut through pyloric valve, which regulates flow. In certain immature stages, insect midgut is not connected to hindgut. For example, honey bees. Filter chamber. It is a complex organ, complex organ in which two ends of ventriculus and the beginning of hind gut are enclosed in a sac. So, two end of ventriculus and one end of hind gut are present in the sac. There are midgut physiology, the students should remember. This physiology are related to different hormones secreted by midgut. There are digestive glands like salivary glands in cockroach. These glands secretes salivary glands in salivarium. In caterpillar, mandibular glands are modified to secrete saliva, where the salivary glands are modified for seal production. Functions of saliva To moisten and to dissolve food, to lubricate mouth part, to add flavor to gastery, is a receptor. In cobras, the saliva contains a mileage for the digestion star. In honeybee, saliva contains invertage for digestion of sucrose material. So, you can also watch the important figures again. Insects are phytophagous, means they eat on plant. Entomophagous, insects eat another in insects, they are called entomophagous. Wood borers, they can break the wood a stem. Wool feeders, septophytic, they mainly feed on solid food material or liquid food material. Insect food in that ingested in liquid form, it may be plant sap or nectar or blood. Based on food material ingested, they are a structural modification in the digestive system of insects. So solid material pauses the biting and chewing type of mouth parts and where as cells are feeding one insects have sucking type of mouth parts. Sap sugars possess a filter chamber and solid feeders have well developed gizzards. Foregut is called a stomatodium. Midgut is mesenteron and hindgut Proctodium and these all the three guts are separated by cardiac valve in the front and pyloric valve in the rear. So, foregut ectodermal in origin and they are lined by intima. Pre oral cavity between epipharynx and hypopharynx is called cyberium. Pre-oral cavity between hypopharynx and salivary duct is called salivarium. Pharynx act as sucking pipe in sap feeders. Crops. As crop as food reservoir and in honeybee crop is called honey stomach where the nectar conversion takes place. Proventriculus or gizzard. 
there are two names both are same whether it is proventriculus or gizzard it is posterior end posterior part of the foregut and found only in solid feeders and absent in liquid feeders this is a typical structure of digestive system you can see the mouth parts labium lower lip labrum upper lip siderium you can see the oral cortical cavity here siderium is also found salivarium this secret secret saliva so it is called salivarium salivary duct is here you can see the salivary duct from where saliva comes out after the oesophagus food material reaches to crop this is a storage system so crop is the storage system of food materials where breakdown of food material takes place in the center there is denticle a stomatal valve you can see the stomatal valve between the fore gut and mid gut and mid gut and hind gut ventriculus gizzard is also called ventricles the second name of ventriculus is gizzard malpighian tubules are found at the joint of the mid gut and hind gut there are tube like structures joining the mid gut and hind gut at the joint they are called malpighian tubules pyrolic valve there are pyrolic valve which also control the movement of the absorbed materials anterior intestine and hind gut intestine these are the last portion of the digestive system so insect digestive system is distributed in three regions number 1 is called foregut you can see the length the middle one is called midgut or mesenteron and the last one is hindgut this is the simple structure of insects any student can understand so what about gizzard there are teeth like a structure in gizzard it is found in cockroach plate like a structure is found in honeybee a spine like a structure is found in blood corpuscles absence in blister beetle and caterpillar this gizzard are absence not gizzard but the spines mid gut it is also called mesenteron they are endothermal endothermal in origin it is the main site of digestion and absorption mid gut is the main site of the digestion and absorption of food materials it is the main site of the digestion you can see the photographs also fibrous circular muscle then ventriolus mid gut serum mid gut cecum this is also mid gut cecum this is mid gut this is mid gut so mid gut is made up of three types of cells secretory cells globulate cells and regenerative cells mid gut is lined by peritrophic membrane that is more important to so, uh, take it up gastric cecum are finger like outgrowth found in interior end of mid gut which gives shelter for symbiotic bacteria you can see the numbers of cecum are also given 
Cryptus, Sika in Dipterian insect, Eight in Dipteroptera, and there are numerous in larvae of Ascarabidae, Ascarab beetles. They are also absent in Columbula, honeybee, Lepidoptera, and caterpillars. Filter chamber. It is a complex organ in which two ends of ventriculus and beginning of hind gut are enclosed in a sac like a structure. This is useful to short circuit excess of water found in liquid feeding insects and helps in osmoregulation by preventing dilution of hemolymphs. Hemolymphs are safe here due to protection level and through osmoregulation. Hind gut. It is ectodermal in origin like foregut is also ectodermal. Only the midgut are endodermal in origin. Ectodermal hind gut are of three regions. Number one is called ileum, number two is colon and number third is rectum. These are the photographs. You can see four gut here, filter chamber, anterior mid gut, malpighian tubules, and hind gut, and rectum, posterior mid gut. So now, gut physiology already mentioned about the glands. They are digestive glands. And microbes are also useful in the digestion system. Salivary glands in cockroaches is a pair of labial glands act as salivary gland. Functions of saliva, they can moisten the food material, they can lubricate the mouth parts and food material, they can add taste or flavor to gustatory receptors in cockroach the saliva contain a mileage for digestion of a starch in honeybee saliva contains invertase for digestion of sucrose after gastric sica there is another sica they are called hepatic sica it secretes most of the digestive juice from the hepatic sica, there are two types of cells which are involved in the digestion enzyme secretion. They are holocrine and merocrine. Epithelial cells disintegrate in the process of enzyme secretion, so they are called holocrine. And the enzyme secretion occurs without cell break or without a bro breaking of cell then it is called merocrine. These are the digestive enzymes. Amylase on a starch, maltase on maltose, invertase on sucrose, protease on protein, lipase on lipid, invertase on sucrose, sucrose, cellulase on cellulose, Collagenase on collagen and elastin, keratinase on keratin. Absorption of water ion occurs through rectum. In cockroach, lipid absorption occurs only through curve. So, with this, we come to the end of the session. Now, we are open for discussion.